Welcome to Xar Template Tutorial Lesson 112 for the Xar Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about another new feature, and in this case, the feature is for the Google Font option that allows you to use Google Fonts in your website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up the new version of Xar Web Designer 9 Premium, and once you have that open, go ahead and select some text within your document. In this case, I'm going to select the text that appears in the first document that opens when you first open up the new version of XR Web Designer 9 Premium. So once you select that, let's go ahead and go to our info bar and select the drop down menu for fonts. And you're gonna look for an option that says Google Fonts. And once you find that, to the far right, it's gonna say Add. So let's go ahead and click on the option that says Add. And when you click on that, it's gonna bring up the Google Font menu that's gonna list all the fonts that are available to you. So once you have that open, you would basically just look through this list and find a font that you want or you could also type you know in this box up here and write in the font that you want to find so if you wanted to install the Allen font you would find that font by typing it in here and then clicking on the font and then choosing the option that you want to install in this case I'm going to install Allen regular and it says font is already installed so I wouldn't install that font so let's go ahead and look for a different font I'm going to go ahead and install a Brill a Brill fat face so let's go ahead and install that and you'll see that it says download and install font family of Brill fat face you'll be prompted to run the font install program so let's go ahead and install that and when I click that it's going to bring up an option here at the bottom of my screen that's letting me know hey do you want to install this so I'm going to go ahead and left click that and it brings up this option here because I'm on Windows 8 you might not see this on Windows on a different version of Windows but for Windows 8 you have you have to get a prompt because of security reasons so in this case I'm gonna click yes to install it and it's gonna install that font on my computer and it says the following font families were installed a real fat face so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK but before we leave the screen I do want to highlight one other thing in the panel to the left in this menu here that we're looking at you have a list of attributes that you can select and you also have a list of styles that you can select and that's going to basically filter your results for your font so if I chose high quality body you'll see that my font menu changed here in terms of the fonts that are listed If I choose families again it'll be adjusted so you can change those parameters however you want but in this case I'm gonna close this menu out and we're gonna take a look at a Brill fat face font so if you go ahead and go back to your info bar to your uh, font navigation options here you're going to look for the part where it says Google Fonts again, and you're going to select the option that says a Brill. And if you choose a Brill fat face, you'll see that indeed it changes the font in our workspace. And if we were to go ahead and preview that in our web browser, go to File Preview Web Page, it's going to show this font as a regular font. In other words, it's going to embed that font where the search engines can read it. So if I hit OK, and we take a look at this in our browser here, you'll see that the text is selectable. And if we preview it in our web browser, you'll see again that it's going to be selectable once it loads here. And you can see that I'm able to select this text in my web browser. So the main benefit of this is that you're going to have more options for your fonts. One, you're going to be able to exchange documents with other users that have Xar Web Designer 9 Premium. And you're going to know that they can install that font because of the new Google Font feature. So Hopefully this video was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.